Michael J. Fox, Catherine Hepburn, Pope John Paul II, Muhammad Ali, Reverend Billy Graham, Johnny Cash. All of these people are or were victims of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's is de degenerative, depressing, and deadly. The doctors may have stumbled onto a promising new treatment. In tonight's Live Well Report, KXAN's Jim Swift brings us the details. For musician and songwriter Freddie Powers and his wife Catherine, the journey through Parkinson's disease has been grueling. Freddie was really walking very slow, moving real slow, and his arm was clutched up real tight. But the two main things was he had really lost his smile and his eyes had become real cloudy and really despondent. But after only 10 daily treatments with a machine that electronically stimulates acupuncture points, things change. It was like I brought home a new husband. He went from just you know, almost not with me half the time, or it didn't feel like or look like he was with me, to all of a sudden he was back. He was back to my Freddy. Diseases that, that respond to this treatment are, are grouped together by circulation. Uh, if we can improve circulation, good things happen. Dr. Donald Rhodes was working on a machine to help alleviate chronic pain at his office down in Corpus Christi when he noticed symptoms of other kinds improved in Parkinson's and diabetes patients. This is really um, uh, like acupuncture, but with a kick. Uh, the electricity um, stimulating the, uh, the acupuncture points. Intrigued, Dr. Rob Eisor, Freddie Powers' neurologist here in Austin, followed up with a small 30-day pilot study with five patients. He told me I was, what'd you call me? You call me blah. That's okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> he said my, my first, the, the pre was blah, and then the second's a little livelier. Well, one thing is I sleep a lot better. I've always had trouble sleeping, particularly going to sleep, and uh, I sleep better. I buttoned these two today, and that was a triumph. <laughs> Usually it's my wife has to do that for me. Dr. Donald Rhodes is a podiatrist who developed this machine originally for a patient who had a nerve disorder and wondered whether it could help those with Parkinson's disease. So a month ago, they began testing it. It is done uh, through electrodes on the hands and the feet, and it stimulates acupuncture points, acupressure points, reflexology points, as well as free nerve endings. Dr. Rob Izor is the Austin neurologist who oversees the test. He says all five of their patients patients have shown progress. Uh, in this patient, we see her tapping her fingers before the study. She had significant uh, reduction in amplitude of finger tapping and opening and closing of the hand uh, compared to after stimulation. Uh, she has more fluid opening of the hand and more deliberate amplitude in finger tapping. Uh, the alternating movements of the hands, we see hesitation and then four weeks later, she has much more fluid alternating movements of the hands. Foot tapping is also slightly improved compared to baseline. This patient had relatively mild to moderate Parkinson's symptoms, uh, which were more uh, prominent off of medication for several days. Um, she has not worsened in the months after the study. I think the main difference that I still experience is, you know, when I'm off the machine, my lower back spasms more. I mean, it hurts, it's sore. Um, I can feel the points that I need a chiropractor to do something about. And it, it, my gait, my movement is limited. Um, I don't as much, um, and I don't sleep as well. This patient also has hesitation and freezing and finger tapping. After the study, he had more deliberate uh, uh, finger tapping. You see on the right side, hesitation, and then after the study, more deliberate, larger amplitude finger taps. And I think in 2006, July 2006, two years ago, when we had our family reunion, you know, people said, you know, is Gene okay? You know, and I think that's what they were noticing. It's just his, his, 
his appearance, you know, his facial expressions was like, I don't know what the term is that you use for it. Yeah, I'm done. Pretty I haven't had to button his his shirts in forever. Well, he doesn't he doesn't wobble or look like he's going off to the side or anything. This patient had more generalized slowing, much more stoic appearance, and after the study had wider amplitude, more deliberate finger tapping, and more generalized spontaneous movement. This patient also had significant ankle swelling, which is a common problem in uh, Parkinson's patients, particularly Parkinsonism, uh, for example, multiple system atrophy. Um, uh, Dr. Rhodes has been using this treatment in other painful conditions like reflex sympathetic dystrophy, which also often uh, have autonomic changes, which include swelling of the feet, redness, and, and neuropathic pain. Uh, this technique seems to reduce swelling uh, in a similar manner as electroacupuncture uh, in the Asian literature. Here we see significant swelling at the ankles, uh, and then four weeks later there's a mark, marked reduction in swelling. And this has persisted in subsequent months. She's also unable to tap her feet fluidly, and after she's able to lift her knee and tap the floor more fluidly. Here's a close-up demonstrating significant reduction in swelling compared to uh, previous. And this shows that her gait uh, is slower than four weeks uh, with stimulation, and this seems to have persisted. In fact, if she misses stimulation for more than a day or so, her gait suffers and she has more risk for falls. In fact, she fell on three occasions after having missed stimulation for a day. In fact, I've seen more improvement since she's been off the meds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, and on the, on the stimulation. So, right. Yeah. But I can see that the voice changed. The tingling and the numbness in her hands and her feet is definitely something new that she did not have before. And um, the pain that she was having came back. And I don't know if it's as bad as it ever was, but it's definitely more than you had when you were doing the treatment. So when she was doing the treatment, she was moving better or, you know, I certainly, certainly the last time I saw you in the clinic, you were doing better than you are now. But to be sure the machine is what is really at work here, a larger study is needed. Hopefully with some publicity and, uh, and uh, interest from uh, a humanitarian. Uh, you need money. Uh, we need money, yes. <laughs> when I lay on the beach to get sun, they call it shaking bait. <laughs> Your smile back, is that true? Well, it's, it's depending on you say something funny. <laughs> I, I think it's a miracle. Colorful songwriter Freddie Powers takes trips in from Austin to receive treatments for Parkinson's. It's just a very light electrical sh shock like this that I hear they have a little, it's, it's kind of like, I, I look at it kind of like acupuncture except it's done with electricity. Freddie still plays chords, in fact just toured with his friends Merle Haggard and Willie Nelson on their Last of the Breed tour. Freddie sang to us one of his favorite songs, one he wrote back in the day for Ray Charles. The way the calls are coming in, do you think the line is There's no place like home, and it's lonesome in this little hotel room. Everybody, that's the first thing everybody has noticed, that is Freddie's eyes are clear, and he has his smile back. And that's the goal, get those smiles back. Katie Kaiser, 3 News.